Now let us discuss about P2 SR flip flop conversion. Here totally we have to follow five steps. Step one is identify available and the required flip flop. Step two is based upon the required flip flop. Whereas step three and step four are based upon the available flip flop. So step two is construct characteristic table for the required flip flop. Step three is construct excitation table for the available flip flop. Step four is find the Boolean expression for the available flip flop. And step five is draw the circuit diagram. Now let us see all the steps one by one. So step one, identify available and the required flip flop. So available flip flop means input flip flop. That is T flip flop. Whereas required flip flop means output flip flop. That is SR flip flop. Step two is based upon the required flip flop. We have to construct the characteristic table for the required flip flop. So required flip flop means uh, what is the required flip flop? Output flip flop. So what is the output flip flop? SR flip flop. Let us see the characteristic table. So here the inputs are S, R, and Q n are the inputs, whereas the output is Q n plus one. Here Q n plus one represents next state output, whereas Q n means current state output. This current state output is also input here. So here we have three inputs. So totally we will have two power three. That is eight combinations. So first one is decimal uh, decimal number zero binary number. That is triple zero. Next one binary number zero zero one. So seven all ones. Next let's see what is the next state output. Here in the first two two cases S and R values are zero zero. So if S value is zero, R value is zero, then there is no change in current state output. So the next state output will also similar to the current state output. So zero means zero only. So one means one only. In the next two two cases, S R values are zero one. So here R value is one. So one means reset. So R value is one. So that means reset. Reset means the output is zero. So now irrespective of the current state output, the next state output is always zero. Why? Because R value is one. Reset. So re reset means output is zero. If we observe the next two cases, one zero. Here S value is one. S value is one means the output is set. So set means one. So irrespective of the current state output, the next state output is always one. Next, if we observe the last two two cases, S R values are one one. So one one means uh, we don't know what is the output. So the so here the output is don't care is the output, and let's see the third step. Step three and step four are based upon the available flip flop. Step three is construct excitation table for the available flip flop. Here the available flip flop is input flip flop that is T. So here the inputs are Q n and Q n plus one, whereas the output is T. Here we have two inputs, so totally we will have two power two that is four combinations. Here the excitation table is very very simple. If the inputs are same, then the output is zero. So zero zero means zero. The last the last case also inputs are same, so the output is zero. Whereas if the inputs are different, so zero one means output is one. Here also the inputs are different. One zero means one. So zero zero one one. So inputs are same, so output is zero. T value is zero. Here the inputs are different. So T value is one. Now depends upon the excitation table. Now we have to fill the uh, this table. We have to take one more input here. That is T. So depends upon the excitation table. We have to fill this column. So here we have Q n and Q n plus one. Q n value is zero. Q n plus one value is zero. So what is the output? Zero is the output. So one one means zero. Next Q n is zero. Q n plus one is zero. So zero zero means zero, one zero different different means one, zero one different one, one one same same means output is zero, same means output is zero. Here we have don't care, don't care means the output is don't care. We don't know what is the output. Next step four, we have to find the Boolean expression for the available flip flop. So here the available flip flop is T. So for T we have to find the 
boolean expression so for this the inputs are s and r q n are the inputs so here we have three inputs so three variable corner of map is enough so this column represents s this column represents r q n if we observe the t column here we have two ones so 0 1 1 means 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 means 1 next here we have second one 1 double 0 means 1 1 double 0 means 1 next here we have two down gates 1 1 0 1 1 1 so 1 1 0 1 1 1 next we can make we can make uh, 1 1 1 so here we have 1 1 1 that is don't care we can make these two cells as a group so what is the result here uh, 1 1 so 1 1 means r q n whereas s value is changing so there is no need to consider that so r q n plus we can make these two cells as a group so here what is s value 1 so 1 means yes whereas 0 0 1 0 second 0 is common what is second 0 q n bar so this is the formula uh, r q n plus s q n bar next the last step is circuit diagram so let us draw the circuit diagram let us draw the circuit diagram so here so here what are, what is the input here t flip flop is the input whereas the outputs are q n is one output q n bar is another output what is the formula here r q n r q n so let we have an input let this is r input r input yeah let it is r input what is the second input here q n q n q n so this indicate this product represents r q n whereas what is the second one s yes, q n bar so let it be the input so the first input is s yes. the second input is q n bar so this is nothing but s input so this indicate produces s yes, and q n bar as the output next we have to perform the r operation plus r operation and this output will be passed as input to the t so in this way we can convert d flip flop to the sr flip flop